top of the thousand horsepowers that you just saw I've got a surprise for you yes we've got another Skyline and it's another 800 horsepower that Gary's been working on so check it out so I'm inside the car with Gary the guy who built this damn insane Skyline Gary I have to say this is a beautiful car man this is a beautiful car what does it take to build something like this. Time, effort and money. Time, effort and money. Probably a lot of it, eh? Yes. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the man behind these vehicles, Gary himself, or better known as the Machining Man. Gary, how are That's you doing, man? Like anyone, man? Nothing comes easy. No, not at all. Not Nothing at all. comes easy. So, tell us what goes into building these. Let's start with this thousand horsepower. I want you guys to see this while he explains this. So, tell us what goes into this. So, what we did with this vehicle is strip the engine, uh, got a stroker kit, 2.8 litre stroker kit inside the original Hobby 26 block. Um, we changed up intake manifold, turbo manifold, it's all hand fabricated, all made in house. It's a GT, uh, Garrett GT4202 turbo, uh, it's all hand fabrication, through the intercooler, piping, boost piping, exhaust piping, etc. Uh, fuel system, oil system, so it's a, a lot of hand fabrication and a lot of time effort goes into builds like this. We also have the opportunity to work with fantastic people. I work very closely alongside with uh, SV Tech. They're an amazing team. Manu does amazing tuning. Um, Mark and Travis. So we very, very fortunate. It's a collaboration of many hours of hard work blood sweat and tears and a lot of passion working with Gary from machining man on a project mm, lots of fun as long as he has his Ritalin and his coffee in the morning <laughs> basically two mad scientists battling it out in the garage coming up with crazy things that uh, clients wants us to uh, produce I must say I didn't really have too much involvement in the physical building of uh, the vehicle that was pretty much all Gary and his team um, if you've seen the car in the flesh it's a work of art considering I saw it when it first arrived massive 180 turnaround my involvement with the vehicle has been predominantly the tuning side of things this is sort of the second round that the vehicle's been back to South Africa from the client um, and tuning the Haltech and getting the results has been both a learning curve, interesting and uh, amazing at the same time. It's angry if you want to drive it away and everything in between. It does whatever you want it to do. And uh, with all the uh, Haltech equipment that's uh, fitted to the vehicle, switching over from 95 to full ethanol or anything in between, uh, it's taken control or taken care of, should I say, by the flex fuel system. 
uh, and that also sort of takes the the power rating from mild to wild. It's not quite R35 PlayStation style driving. Uh, it's still a manual transmission. You have to drive the car. You can make mistakes. Uh, and a car that maybe separate separates. Uh, guys in my workshop Chris an amazing guy we just uh, put our hearts and souls into all these builds so we, we, make, machine anything? we make components like the radiators the intercoolers the catch cans the turbo manifolds the boost pipes the exhaust um, all hand fabrication uh, we obviously make and machine all the little bits and pieces that go along hand in hand with that. We make our own and manufacture in-house components for RB series engines, like our billet main bearing caps, our bed plate that we manufacture in-house, our own design, um, oil pumps. We make quite a few components for these engines. So there is a hell of a lot of machining and fabrication that goes into builds like that. I mean, thousand to eight hundred. Like, I mean, you're pulling power from where? Jeez. So, this car here is a fresh build, slightly different to that car in that we have started off with a three-liter block. So, this is our first one that we've done. This is a three-liter engine with our billet, main bearing caps, and bed plate, uh, and adapter with an RB26 he head. So, it's a, a what they call an RB3026. Um, brand new build. New turbo, new exhaust manifold, heat shields, That's incredible. intercooler piping, exhaust, turbo piping, oil pipes, catch cans, quite so a lot of fabrication. A, a yeah. lot of fabrication, a lot, a lot of, of customization, and I, I have to admit, like a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money. A lot of money. We are very thankful for clients that give us the opportunity to exploit our expertise. This obviously comes at a cost. And without clients and a good client base and a good relationship with a client to allow you to do something like this to showcase what your workmanship can do. Absolutely. So we're very humble and very thankful to our clients to allow us to build these beautiful cars. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, Carrie. Thank you so much. Thank these you. are awesome vehicles. And like I said it before, this is more than just building a car. This is artistry at its best. Two skylines, thousand horsepower, thousand uh, eight hundred horsepower rather. That's a thousand eight hundred horsepower that you're looking at just right here. And I said it before: if you can't, if, if, if you're trying to figure out what that means, think about it. A Ferrari 488 GTV sits at around 650 horsepower. S, uh, Aventador SV is about 750 horsepower. That car is sitting at a thousand. This one's sitting at 800. To do that by hand is absolutely incredible. <laughs> that is insane. SV Tech, shout out to you for allowing us to do this video. The Machining Man, if you haven't caught his handle, uh, he's on Instagram at The Machining Man. So go check him out at The Machining Man. Uh, I'll drop his link uh, to his Instagram below. He's also got awesome content. <laughs> You'll see a lot of more skylines. And uh, yeah, well, I hope you enjoy it. Catch me inside this vehicle. I'm actually gonna jump inside and give you guys a sneak peek as to how it feels to drive. So the time has come to take this baby for a ride. I am inside an 800 horsepower skyline. It's the first time that I'm driving a Skyline, so I hope I don't crash it. I also hope I don't stall. Here I go. So, the moment where I've been waiting for is to hear what this thing sounds like. I'm in second gear. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Here we go! Woo! Oh, that turbo dump is amazing. Right off the bat. It's like... It's like driving a really expensive, well-built, 
supercar. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like a skyline. It doesn't feel like this car is from 1990s. It feels like this car is it's from this day and age. That is it for me. My name is Javon Francis. I'm with The Machining Man. Go check out his Instagram at The Machining Man. Uh, that is it for me. I hope you love these cars. Subscribe, hit the like button, and you can catch more of all of these cars on Ultimate Motoring. That's it from me. My name is Javon Francis, signing out.